watch India versus Bangladesh. Everybody is absolutely buzzing. This is not good. You have Sharma right here. Sharma. You have Rohit. And you also have Kohli. Oh my gosh. This is Pogo. This is crazy. Okay, if this is not commitment, I don't know what is. Our first look. How's it look? You yeah. look good. Jay Hind. Jay Hind. So we're not going to go into it, but something happened. Good afternoon and welcome to Pune, India. We have flown all the way from Jodhpur to Mumbai, taken a five hour taxi to make it to this city for one reason and one reason only, that is to watch India versus Bangladesh. After previously watching India destroy Pakistan, we thought we had to make it back down south to watch one more game at the Cricket World Cup. We don't actually have tickets again, so our plan is to go to the stadium and hope for the best outside. And even if we don't get them, we'll be able to soak in the incredible atmosphere but we will be staying at the Hyatt Regency for the next three nights and we have been upgraded to a blooming suite like this this is our balcony we actually got a super warm welcome small business ceremony for you thank you so much yes of course I feel healthy <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yes of course Thank you so much. And everybody is absolutely buzzing for the match today. As are we, look at us. We are ready. Totally on the back. Totally on the back. Um, but let's give you a quick, sweet tour. So we have the balcony, as you've seen. Come on in. It's wow. huge. I don't know how I'm going to get this done. We have a living room area with our TV. We have a dining area. If you care to join us. That was the door, not me. <laughs> we have a hallway, bathroom, numero uno. And then you come in to our little secret bedroom. That with a looks desk. very inviting with a desk. We have views over Pune and another TV. And then the PS2. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Bathroom. Again, no we have a bathtub and actually we can sit in the bath and have a look over the city of Pune, but we don't have time. We need to get to the stadium to watch India, Bangladesh. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This hotel is absolutely incredible. We will show you in another video, specifically on this hotel, everything it has to offer to show you what five-star luxury in Pune is like. But today's priority is the cricket. We need to jump in an Uber because the cricket stadium is about an hour from the center of the city. I mean, it's difficult to leave when you're in a place like this. Hello. This is not good. We've been in the car now for just over an hour and Uber driver's max is saying 33 minutes still, which will mean we arrive about 10 minutes before the start of the match. It might be a good thing actually, because if there are people outside the stadium and they're wanting to sell their tickets, the closest the match starts in or if the match has already begun, it will be hopefully a lot cheaper because they'll be desperate to get rid of their tickets. The only problem is we might miss the atmosphere outside of the stadium. I don't know. But then everyone's probably in the same position. We're going to arrive a little bit late today because the highway is insane. You would not believe it. It's 1.32 p.m. We are now stuck in our traffic. Our driver is challenged to the bus driver who's got out because Apparently people have been coming the wrong way down this highway, so we don't know when we're going to get there. Outside there's a um, few people in their India tops, there's busloads of people that have got the local bus. Why would people stadium. drive on the wrong side of the road? Why? And I, do you know what, at this point I don't know what time we're going to get to the, the side of the road, stuck in traffic, 
we have some sellers. I'm They're literally on the highway. Do you know what? So we have the lovely t-shirts here, but is my fear at black? It's not the best fear at. Yeah, see, they have... Hello, my friend. The t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have a look? You have Sharma right here? Where's Sharma? You have Rohit. And you also have Kohli. Kohli too. Yeah, let me large. These large. Big size for me. This is lovely. Look at this one. Oh, this will fit me. Well, are you sure? And what is this one? What size? What Virat. one is this? Vera on the back. Orange. Ah, we are running away. Oh no. Is this big size? Chota, chota. XXL. Is this think? XXL? And this one? XL. Okay, if you have XXL in this one. What is it? Virat. The Sharma. One Sharma, one Virat. One Sharma, one Virat. One. Kidna? 300. Okay. I do 200. 400 for two. 400 for two. Okay. Is this XXL? This XXL. I need XXL in Sharma. Will, it, will this yeah. fit me? For me? XXL. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, We're no. driving off. Oh, one t-shirt. Did he agree? 200 for one? 200 I each, yeah. Okay. Good price, I think. These are absolutely stunning. You know, I love the uh, orange and white. I really like these, but I just think that the black isn't as nice is the bright orange is he coming then you bad so this is xxl okay perfect oh no this is still just xl, XL, XL okay XL. i wear for him okay you have 100 yeah ah, ah we're driving off slow slow slow, slow, slow. Wait, wait, he's wait, having wait. to run Stop for one minute you have 100 yeah oh my gosh then you this is right pogo now. this is crazy oh my god he's running off wait slow 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's bye. okay. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you, bird. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, that was like the most intense sale ever. So we have an XXL with Mr. Vera, King Coley, and we have mine in XL with Rohit. I feel like at every game so far, we end up buying a new cricket top. I have about five in the Oh my God, <laughs> our suitcase is full. Oh, let me see if the, oh, I think this is going to be too small for me. What do you think? Is it too small? It's a little bit small, but you have got a top underneath. Actually, no, it looks okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going with Sharma. You go with Kohli. And we still have... How far do you think, my friend? <laughs> how far? Huh? Time, how long? Network is slow. Network is not working. Oh, no. I think it's still like 30 minutes. And you've had... Okay, if this is not commitment, I don't know what is. We don't have a ticket. We've just bought... About our 10th India shirt from the side of the road while in the car and we are now walking on the blimmin' highway to make it to the stadium. Wish us luck, Jay Hind. In the end I've had to wear the road here because it fit me, but honestly this is not the safest thing to be doing, walking down the middle of the highway. Um, but my optimism levels have really dropped. Like now that it's nearly an hour into the game, do I think that we will be able to manage tickets? I'm hopeful, but my optimism levels have definitely dropped. But like, you can see, we're not the only ones. There are quite a few people having to walk to the stadium. We've finally made some progress. We are off the highway, nearly getting hit by cars and we're now on the footpath to the stadium. The first time the city of Pune has actually hosted a World Cup match. So everyone is incredibly excited. Unfortunately, a little bit unprepared. If you'd stayed in your car, you've missed the first innings. It would have taken hours and hours to get out of that traffic. But India, Bangladesh, their last four meetings at World Cups, India have won three, Bangladesh, of 1-1 one, one. so the odds oh my god oh my god I thought he so did i so the odds <laughs> my heart the odds are definitely in india's favor our first look of the stadium so look at that in all of its glory unfortunately in the background it looks like it could well rain it looks a bit dark um it's just one thing after the other but it looks as though people's excitement has been zapped out as you can see yeah, all these people are about to walk for an hour we're not the only people that have stuck in that absolutely horrific traffic you think it's like 12 o'clock or something but no in fact it's 3 p.m let's find some tickets Oh, hello again. Hi. So, you've got 
How much is it just for on cheeks? Oh, perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello. I think I should get it as well I'm this very time. Sweaty. How's it look? Yeah. You look good. Jay Hind. Jay Hind. England. Oh, wow. That's really cool. How's it look? Let me look. Look here, boy. <laughs> Looks amazing. Should I do it as well? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, wow. I haven't even seen it on myself yet. It's huge. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Looks good. Oh wow! Jay Hind. Jay Hind. Look at you. That's got to be the best thing that's happened so far today. The official face painters 2023 World Cup. It doesn't crisp up on your face, but so far the atmosphere is not the best. There's quite a lot of angry people, even people with tickets. They've only just started letting them in, and it is nearly four o'clock. So people have nearly missed the whole by the time they get in. So I have no idea, really, compared to Ahmedabad, this has been not the best. See, it's 3.30 and this is still the queue just to get into security. It's this probably, is not the best. Even if you have a ticket, there's probably no point in even queuing up right now. It's taking absolute cover. And bearing in mind, this is just gate one. So you have two, three, and I think even four. But um, where are the people sitting This might actually be as close as we're going to get the cricket today. I'm not giving up yet, but outside of the stadium they have set up this fan zone type thing with a huge screen at the back there. And Bangladesh are currently 132 to 3 of 25 overs, so this might actually be a closer game than we thought. I can't lie, the atmosphere is extremely flat. Um, there's no one chanting anything, there's no J in. I mean, the atmosphere is completely different. India, Pakistan, I think it's because... Everyone's people, deflated. People are deflated, yeah, there's still people trying to queue in there, I mean, it's, it's a bit chaotic. So we're not going to go into it, but something happened where, uh, let's just say a lot of things went wrong about this match in the Cricket World Cup, but we're not going to talk about it because we've been here to be positive and let's just say maybe we were going in, <laughs> maybe now we're not. So uh, instead we're just going to head, head into town and watch the second innings that's a bar, you've got to be positive. So I think most people, if what we had experienced today, they had experienced the Cricket World Cup, they were probably easy to talk about, to get views. And do you know what, when we travel, we don't do that. There's so many people that travel to destinations and just talk about the bad points to get more views, but that isn't what, what it's about. So we're going to keep it, keep it to ourselves for the meantime. Maybe in the future we'll talk about what has happened? Um, but we are going to the bar, so instead of being in the ground, we can enjoy some beer, watch the cricket, and we're currently in our Uber. What is the score? What are Bangladesh on? 207 for 6. So we, we might not be in the stadium, but we're watching it in our Uber. <laughs> we have just made it to Toy, and honestly, like as Matt said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but to be honest, we flew from Jodhpur to Mumbai, had a taxi from Mumbai to Pune for, like five hours. for a very long time. This morning got in a taxi for three hours to get to the stadium. Then we had to walk for 35 minutes, three kilometers. And to get to the stadium and to have the situation that happened to us after going through all of that effort was absolutely insane, very intense. And like I said, not going to dwell on it. I feel um, like the biggest issue is book my show. Book my show are the biggest And they didn't want to help us today. They didn't want to help us at all, but I'm going to drink my beer, hopefully. And enjoy. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. This is needed. We are being positive. We have made it just in time for the second innings. India have just started batting. They are 27 for none. They are chasing 256 and I think they're going to do it. Like I said, we're not going to dwell. The issue is, I think maybe the Pune Stadium isn't the best for it's India games. Small. You need to be in like Kochi or something over 50, 60, 70,000 because the hype is so big. Look, my show is so bad with the tickets. <laughs> I'm going to stop that on. Let's enjoy the beers. Come on, India. Jay Hind. The only problem, we look crazy. We are dressed for the match. We've got the face paint on and everyone's finishing work coming to watch <laughs> India. <laughs> that, which is a... Uh, 
a little ridiculous. One thing I have actually found out is that in the last four World Cup matches, India have the advantage, but in the last four ODIs in general, Bangladesh have the advantage. And can you believe that Bangladesh got a much higher score than Pakistan? Here we go. 28 for none from four overs. They're flying. Sharma is on fire. I'm so surprised. No one in here seems that bothered about the cricket. No, it's really not that busy. I wonder if it's because maybe everyone's watching it at home. The street seems pretty quiet. But all I know is a toy basmati blonde is doing wonders right now. It's redeeming itself. We are 40 from five overs. Really good. Guys, Rohit is on fire. Like, absolute fire. 68 to nil. I actually had to just take off. I'm quite disappointed. I've taken off my Rohit top because I've got too hot. I got two hot wearing too. Um, yeah, 68 to now. And there what is, is he? 10 and a half overs. So at the minute, they'll be comfortably getting well over 300. This is crazy. But this is a setup. We got our beer, we have our food, and we have India destroying Bangladesh on the telly. 102 for one from 12 overs. Kohli has just come in, Sharma has just gone out, and he had 12 from two balls. He has just slapped Bangladesh for two giant sixes. And for the first time ever, I heard a little scream in the corner. Things are looking up. We've got a pizza. India 206 for three, they need 50 from 90 balls. It's not all bad. <laughs> Can you believe Come. we're it's probably gonna that? miss yeah. a Kohli century. century? I can't believe that. This is the over. Kohli's on 92. They need seven to win. So unfortunately, he's not going to make the century. But they have pretty much demolished Bangladesh. And unfortunately, I've missed the Kohli Masterclass. Oh! Is it? No, 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 it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not. Okay. It's not. They didn't run. Oh. Dot ball. Oh my god, my heart's beating. Kohli's very clever. He went for a one, so they swap ends at the end of the over and he gets one last chance to slap it for a four. Two runs from 58 balls. I'm excited to see what is it going to be. Is it going to be a four? Is it going to be a six? And I want to see what the atmosphere will be like. Okay, the atmosphere is getting there. Now it's a long one. He's got his century and they've battered them. Oh wow, that was insane. That is definitely the atmosphere of Tim Crowley. He always brings it. Can in. you imagine being there? Oh, the atmosphere was really amazing. Good morning. What a win. For India. Can you believe it? We missed the opportunity to see Kohli score a century live in the stadium at the Cricket World Cup in India. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. At least they won so far. It looks like India and New Zealand are the two teams to beat. But, Pune, you are an incredible, incredible city. The only issue. The stadium isn't ready for India games at the Cricket World Cup, I have to be honest. The India games need to be in the big stadiums, the big capacity, so everyone can go and enjoy the matches in Ahmedabad, in Mumbai, in Chennai, even Kochi. Kochi hasn't been selected, but Kochi Stadium holds up to 80,000 people, so you get double the attendance. I feel like Pune is perfect for the games that don't involve India and of course the other problem. Book my show has been a little bit of a disaster. For instance, we're trying to book the England South Africa game for tomorrow and it's saying tickets are available. There are lots of tickets available. It won't let us book it. Another problem, if you have a foreign card, it is almost impossible to book tickets. But this is the World Cup. There are numerous countries, numerous people coming from different countries to enjoy the atmosphere, to enjoy India. And I feel sorry for Indian supporters that have had problems on this site because bots and people on the black market have taken the tickets 
and some of them haven't even sold them because they're asking for such crazy prices. But so far, it's been incredible, honestly. The, the two matches in Ahmedabad and taking in the atmosphere of Indian matches is something that I'll definitely remember for a very, very long time. And they won comfortably. They destroyed Pakistan. They destroyed Bangladesh. They're two neighbors, two of their big rivals. What do you think, you're gonna win it? Are India gonna win the World Cup? It's India or New Zealand to lose as things stand at the moment. But we will possibly, possibly try and watch one more, maybe two more games at the Cricket World Cup. We just need some help getting some tickets. But anyway, congratulations to India and we'll see you in the next one.